Master Gardeners gave me a gift a few years ago of the meaning and sentiment of flowers. And when I began planning my wedding, I decided to use the meaning of flowers for all of the bouquets and boutonnieres for the wedding. And each one had individual sentiment intended. One of the things that I've noticed about flowers is that they can have a double meaning. So you want to make sure that whoever is receiving the gift knows the meaning that you're intending. These lilies, for example, can mean falsehood or lies, but they can also mean walking on air, so I chose to use them in my wedding bouquets. Some of the carnations, in general, mean bonds of affection or pure devotion, so they can have a positive meaning, but the striped carnations themselves can mean disdain, and the yellow carnations can mean refusal, so again, they can have mixed meaning. Chrysanthemums can mean cheerfulness or loyalty, but the yellow cushion mums here can also mean slighted love. And the Alstroemeria flowers mean fortune, but that can have a positive or a negative meaning. If you're interested in giving flowers based on the meaning of flowers, you might want to make sure that you write out the meaning that you're intending because the fact that somebody might look them up and find a different meaning that you have intended, but they can add a special depth to the gift that you give. I'm Donna Hoffman from the University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching From the Ground Up.